New data shows that homelessness in San Francisco has hit a new 10-year low. But even so, there are more than 2,900 people living on the streets. That is according to a recent count. Now, one of the keys to building a better Bay Area is getting those people the services that they need. And ABC7 News reporter Leanne Melendez joining us now. Talk about the number of homeless going down, mm -hmm. which you see for mm -hmm. yourself out on the streets, and the number of services provided is going up. Yeah. Still, you know, a lot of people say it's almost like a symbiotic relationship where one relies on the other. Mm. But still, San Francisco has been trying to revive its lackluster image. We walked the downtown area to see who and what is keeping the city from falling into a slump and why San Francisco is paying millions for these services. How you doing, sir? You okay? You need any help with anything? Think of Louis Hammonds of Urban Alchemy as a street negotiator between those with severe challenges and the rest of us. Does it bother you that we're right here and those people are using drugs? Does it, it hurts my heart. It hurts my heart. So, yes, it bothers me. Rather than ask them to leave, this is what he brings to these streets. It would have to be a continued conversation. And that conversation would have to be kind, courteous, polite, to where they felt respected. But then at the end of the day, they says, you know what, you're right. He engages them and then shows kindness by buying them snacks. Thank you. Cigarettes? Yes, please. Now, out of respect for Hammonds, they start to leave. Love's a verb, okay? It's about action. That's it. Urban Alchemy has 530 full-time employees and many more part-time workers. They told us their contract with the city is for $43 million. They are not to be confused with the welcome ambassadors greeting tourists. Welcome to Union Square. Welcome to San Francisco. SF Travel has 60 of these ambassadors and spends $4 million a year on the program. The folks at the Tenderloin Community Benefit District have one of the most challenging jobs in the city, keeping the neighborhood clean and safe. There are 86 staff members, 32 of them are on the cleanup team. They do all the sweeping, um, they take care of the 86 trash receptacles that are on the corners throughout the TL. Uh, we do needle removal, we do um, graffiti abatement, um, as well as all the power washing. The community district receives money from several city agencies and from a special tax from residents and businesses. All pit stop facilities and some public bathrooms are staffed by paid attendants who make sure the bathrooms are maintained and used for their intended purpose. Initially, there were only three sites, all in the Tenderloin. Today, Public Works will spend $11.9 million this year to staff 31 sites in 13 neighborhoods. Here's another costly program. Because people were using BART elevators for drug use, in 2018, operators were brought in to make sure people weren't overdosing or using them as bathrooms. Today, that program has expanded, and BART and the San Francisco County Transportation Authority share the costs. The budget to keep these workers in place is $3.6 million this year, going up to $3.7 million in fiscal year 24-25. Here's why. The project team determined that six additional attendant staff were needed, 36 in total, and costs for required benefits and oversight of staff were higher than anticipated. The police department currently spends $6.1 million on 104 community ambassadors who are retired officers. This program has been expanded since 2022 to help improve public safety in San Francisco. These are only a few of the many programs and nonprofits keeping the city in check. A lot of those services are being duplicated. San Cobbs is with Tipping Point, which awards grants to anti-poverty nonprofits. Put your mayor hat on for a second here, because <laughs> the former mayor of San Francisco, Willie Brown, said the homeless problem is impossible to solve. So fill in the blank. As long as we continue doing blank, the homeless and drug problem will, will not go away. As long as we continue to throw money at the problem, as long as we just continue to say money is the answer to the problem. Money is not an answer to the problem, but we also need to audit them around, are we getting a return on investment? Are we getting what it is that we're paying for, them for from an outcomes perspective? Mm -hmm.
So the city says it contracts with over 600, 600 nonprofits that provide service for the most vulnerable residents at a cost of $1.7 billion. Now the city will have a way to audit them using a metric system to measure performance to see if they are being effective or if they are underperforming. I think one of the complaints that people often mention is that there's not a coordinated effort. One nonprofit is doing this, the other nonprofit is doing that, and you know, we're wasting money. Not and on the same page. Realize yeah. that there were 600, no matter how efficient you are, keeping track of 600 would seem to be quite a challenge. Correct. Yeah, yeah I mean, that's the problem. They, right. Somehow, someone has to come together and say, which is what the metric system hopefully will do, let's see what you're doing. What have you done for me lately? We'll see. Yeah.